This is a quick explainer for Loopy's record intro feature. A loop intro is a part of the loop, like a pickup or an anacrusis, that plays before the first beat of the loop. And when a loop plays, it will play the first time the loop plays, but not when the loop loops. I'm going to set this up in global clip settings, but you can also set it up and probably mostly will set it up in individual clip settings. For record intro to work, there needs to be a count in of some sort. I'm going to use the master clock. You're going to want to make sure to have loop audio threshold recording turned off. Record intro uses an audio threshold. And what will happen is once you have pressed record, it's going to be listening for any audio that happens before the top of the clock. I'm going to set the master count in to two so that we've got some time to play with. Got the metronome on. Let's go ahead and start the transport. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you hear when it loops, it starts on one. But the first time we play it, we're going to pick up the pickup. And one, two, three, four. You will see that there is an intro if a clip has this intro setting. If I turn that off, if it's turned off, it's always going to start on one. One, two, three. And if I turn the intro on, and one, two, that's how you record an intro. You might have imported a clip that you want to have an intro that has a fill at the beginning, or you might have recorded something without record intro on, but you want to turn a part of that recording into an intro. So let's say you have something like this. And one, two, what you can do is scroll the beginning so that the beginning starts where the loop beginning should be. One, two, three. And once you move the beginning marker, you will see that this intro option appears and you just turn that on and that will act like a standard intro.